this video i have again come with a very very exciting problem uh, so this time the problem is from the trigonometry and it's an excellent and mind blowing problem to all the math geeks out there so i have combined quadratic equation with trigonometry so it comes out to be like it it's seen as a quadratic equation problem but you need to use trigonometric identities uh, and concepts uh, to solve this problem basically so coming to the question so this is the question so question is f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c and a b c are integers so we can we can infer from this that f of x is a basically a quadratic equation and the second thing that has been given to us is sin pi by 7 into sin 3 pi by 7 plus sin 3 pi by 7 into sin 5 pi by 7 plus sin 5 pi by 7 into sin pi by 7 is f of cos pi by 7. So that means that when I keep cos pi by 7 in my quadratic equation, I would get this my this as my value, the LHS of this equation. All right. So he is asking us to find the value of f of 2. So if I put 2 in the place of x in my quadratic equation, what can be the, what will be the answer? That's the uh, that's all you need to do for this question so coming to the solution so my first step is I shall write the equation that has been given to us that is sine pi by 7 into sine 3 pi by 7 plus sine 3 pi by 7 into sine 5 pi by 7 plus sine 5 pi by 7 into sine pi by 7 all right so this is the equation that has been given to us and this is nothing but f of cos this is f of uh, cos pi by 7 yeah this is f of cos pi by 7 yeah so this is what it has been given to us so what could be my idea before proceeding into the next step all right so basically he has given to us the quadratic equation f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c all right so i'm just telling you how do you need to think to solve such type of problems because we have left with, we are not uh, we are not given with any other additional clue this is all the information that has been given to us so how can we proceed now so f of x is equal to x square plus bx plus c and now if i put cos pi by 7 in this i will get this in the form a of cos pi by 7 whole square plus b of cos pi by 7 plus c all right so this is what i'm gonna get and this is nothing e but this is equal to this all the uh, lhs of this equation isn't it so my basic idea need to be like i need to equate this into this all right so my idea need to be i need to convert this into the cos pi by 7 form isn't it if i convert this into the cos pi by 7 form i like which can be equated into the rhs of this equation then i can get the value of a the b and c and i would get the value of my quadratic equation all right like i would get my exact quadratic equation all right so that's my plan so moving towards it so my basic idea my basic idea needs need to convert the lhs of this equation into cos pi by 7 forms so for that my first step is i'll uh, I'll just use the red ink all right so it gives an additional look to the problem solution so half of I'll just multiply by 2 and divide by 2 so 2 sine pi by 7 sine 3 pi by 7 plus 2 sine 3 pi by 7 into sine 5 pi by 7 plus 2 sine 5 pi by 7 into sine pi by 7 so this is what I'm gonna get after multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2 all right now this we know this identity all right so we know this identity that 2 sin a sin b is basically cos a minus b all right cos a minus b minus of cos of a plus b all right so this is the formula 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos a minus b minus cos of a plus b so we'll be using this here all right we'll be using this in this bracket and that turns out to be uh half of so this is cos first of all we need to subtract it so 3 pi by 7 minus pi by 7 2 pi by 7 minus cos we need to add them up so minus cos 4 pi by 7 okay this is my first set all right and come to the second set cos 3 pi by 7 cos 5 pi by 7 when i just subtract them i would get cos 2 pi by 7 again and minus cos of i need to add them so minus cos of 8 pi by 7 all right so coming to the next bracket that is cos 5 pi by 7 into cos pi by 7 so that comes out uh, like this is all sine all right i'm just telling it as cos this is all sine like sine 5 pi by 7 into sine pi by 7 so that comes out to be first of all we need to subtract the terms so when we subtract the terms we get cos 4 pi by 7 and minus cos 6 6 pi by 7 
so this is what we're gonna get so I can just now cancel these terms minus cos 4 by by 7 and cos 4 by by 7 so this turns out to be half of 2 times we have cos 2 by by 7 term so 2 cos 2 pi by 7 and now we can just take the minus common and write this as cos of 8 pi by 7 plus cos of 6 pi by 7 all right this is what i'm gonna get i'm just yeah uh, i'll just uh, close this yeah so half of 2 cos 2 pi by 7 and now using the identity cos of c plus cos of d you can just write this here and this it will be turning out to be 2 cos 2 pi like when you add them up you get 6 pi by 14 pi by 7 that's nothing but 2 pi and like all right so you can even cancel this all right you can even uh, like uh, 2 pi by 7 uh, like a plus b so a plus b divided by 2 so 8 pi by 7 plus 6 pi by 7 14 pi by 7 divided by 2 so you'll be remaining out with uh sorry this is not pi uh, yeah this will be 2 all right and this comes out to be 8 pi by 7 minus 6 pi by 7 2 pi by 7 divided by 2 so you'll be remained out with pi by 7 all right and this turns out to be cos pi and cos pi is nothing but minus 1 so you can just minus of minus plus so i'll just move this to the next step that is 2 cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos pi by 7 all right so we have a 2 here so this is what we're gonna get so half of 2 cos 2 pi by 7 plus uh, pi by 2 cos pi by 7 so i'll just move uh, i'll just come to this piece for the next step i'll just write it here yeah so this turns out to be i'll just write the previous step again 2 cos 2 pi by 7 plus 2 cos pi by 7 all right this is what we're gonna get so i'll just cancel 2 here we would get cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos pi by 7 and now if i assume cos pi by 7 as some theta so this is cos 2 theta so cos 2 theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1 so i'll be writing this in the form 2 cos square pi by 7 minus 1 plus cos pi by 7 okay i'll just write it in a clear way that is 2 cos square pi by 7 plus cos pi by 7 minus 1 all right this is what we're gonna get and this is uh this is basically f of cos pi by 7 all right so if i put f of like play cos pi by 7 in the place of x in the quadratic equation i would get this so i'll just compare that with this f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c all right if we just compare this we can get to know that a is 2 b is 1 and c is minus 1 isn't it so our quadratic equation turns out to be f of x turns out to be 2x square plus ax minus 1 all right so this is our quadratic equation i'll just erase this stuff i hope you i hope you guys understood this this is basically we are turning out this equation into this form so that we can compare the coefficients and find the value of the exact quadratic equation so f of 2 is basically 2 of 2 whole square plus 2 minus 1 so this is 2 of 2, 8 plus 2 minus 1 so this is 9 so f of 2 value is 9 so this is the answer i hope you guys understood this this is a very very fantastic problem like very rarely we come across this type of problems where we need to use uh, the big log like the excellent logic only one logic can help you solve this problem not all the logics can help you uh, come to reach the solution so i hope you guys understood this so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next problem